Hi there, my name is Colleen Yu and I'm here at the Greener Grocery at the historic North Market. There's so many reasons to buy local. It keeps our money right here in our community. And what is local? I mean, some people think it's 30 miles, 50 miles. I might say Ohio. You know, I eat seasonally because if food does not travel, it's going to be more delicious and fresh. If you're ordering something from, you know, Peru or something like that off season, think about the, the money, the gas, the, you know, everything that's, that's going on to get that product here. We buy from probably about 25 to 30 farmers and artisans. Artisans, I mean small producers of honey, syrup, grains. It's keeping your money in your food system. You are supporting local farmers that don't get those commodity crops such as corn and so many different grains are um, supported by government subsidies. Well, our small farmers do not get that help. Cheap food has so many hidden costs. What farmers are paid, how they're treated, how the labor is treated. When you know your farmers, you know some place like the Greener Grocer where you can trust us to know the farmer. That money goes directly to them and we support them. And I always like to say, vote with your fork, vote with your dollar. Here at Till Dynamic Fair, we take a very hardcore, artisanal production method approach to what we do here. We have a kitchen garden attached to the kitchen here. During um, a lot of precipitation and moist weather, we get some nice shiitake mushrooms. Shiitake uh, is a word in Japanese that references the kind of wood that the mushroom grows on. And what we're making right now is a shiitake tartare, so it's a raw food preparation, it's really vibrant, it really showcases the buttery and woody flavors of the shiitake mushroom. So we're going to start with the cashews and we're going to grind these up really well and thoroughly to release the oils. Add the shiitake mushrooms in. Now we want to use our pulse uh, button here, we don't want to over grind the shiitake mushrooms, so we're just going to pulse them down. Now they're blending nicely with the cashews and also consistently blending down here. Now we're going to add our parsley that we harvested. Pulse again. Fine crumbly mixture. So a little bit of shoyu now. And the mushrooms as they grind up release a little bit of water in the shoyu and the nuts and that's what acts as kind of a binder in this. So now pulse one, two, three, four, five, five or six. I have some of these sliced mushrooms that I just sauteed. So in the bottom of the jar, for a nice little look to the jar, we can put a little bit of the sliced mushrooms that I sauteed in a little bit of garlic and olive oil. And then we put the tartare in there and just level it off. And there we have it. Beautiful shiitake nut tartare. So the reason I love this dish is because there's a lot of ways to interface with a lot of different kind of condiments and other foods. The way I like to do it is with some fresh crusty baguette, apple chutney, olive tapenade, and uh, if you'd like the addition of bone marrow is very exotic.